today's Farm Basics, we're going to talk about how to pull a soil sample. I had a conversation with a farmer this spring and he came in and said, Brian, I love your Ag PhD soil test app, but I don't know about you guys talking about, hey, I can sample 500 acres in a day. Um, I can't even sample 40 acres hardly in a whole day. And I said, Larry, you're in pretty good shape for your age and everything. The guy's probably 60, 65 years old. I said, you absolutely should be able to sample at least three or 400 acres in a day. What are you doing? And he goes, well, I'm going to your grid points. You know, we're doing five acre grids on our farm. And then I'm going all around the grid pulling soil cores. And I said, there's your problem. Today we want to talk about how you should pull a soil sample. We don't want you walking around in just random spots in the field pulling your grids. Yes, we want you to pull a few cores at a grid point, but here's normally how we would suggest you do it. Let's say you're in a four-wheeler or you're out sampling in a pickup. Drive right to the grid point. Get out of your vehicle. Pull two cores on one side. Pull two cores behind. Two cores on the other side. Two cores in front. There you go, you've got eight cores, dump it all in the bag, don't have to spend time mixing anything else, the lab does that now. So it's very simple, very quick, very easy. The other two keys that I would tell you is keep your soil probes straight up and down, not at an angle, and always go to the same depth, whether that's six inches, four inches, 12 inches, whatever you pick, always go to the exact same depth, that way you'll have a representative sample. All right, why are we talking about grids? I guess the big thing here is you wanna have points that you can go back to year after year. That way you can track performance, you can track what's going on. If you say, well, I need to build up my potassium level in a soil, for example, you can see, well, one year I'm at 1% base saturation potassium. Now I'm up to 2%, now I'm up to 3%, now I'm up to four. You can keep following up in that spot. If you're moving to different spots all the time, it's hard to have any repeatability with what you're doing. The, the point is use GPS and mark the spots. So you can have zone sampling, you can have grid sampling, whatever, that's up to you. But the point is we want you to go back to the same spots year after year or however often you sample just so you can track what your progress is over time. So let's say that you're not a farmer and you say well you're talking about these great big fields what about me for my lawn or for my garden it would be the same kind of thing you want to pick spots that you can go back to all the time maybe you say well I'm going to pull one right in the middle of my front yard that's fine you can find that roughly that same spot or within a foot or two of that exact same spot year after year and do some sampling we would highly recommend this rather than just going to the store, buying a bag of fertilizer and hearing from somebody at the hardware store that says, well, this will work for your lawn. This will green it up. You may be putting on something you don't need or you may be putting on way more than you need. It's important to do a soil test to find out what do I actually need out there so I can do the right thing for my crop or for my lawn and for the environment. But I mentioned earlier pulling eight cores. So 8, 10, 12, something like that, just pull multiple cores. In other words, don't just go pull one little spot of dirt and that's your entire sample. You want to have a few cores so that way you have a more representative sample of what's actually there. You didn't just hit one spot of high fertility or one spot of exceptionally low fertility. You kind of have the average in that area. Well, soil tests are important and they can help you learn how to feed whatever you're trying to grow. But one thing that will help your plant take in more of that food is keeping weed competition away. I'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>